Ayyappan is the Hindu god of growth, particularly popular in Kerala. He is a syncretic deity, the son of Shiva and Mahini, the female avatar of Vishnu. Ayyappan is also referred to as Ayyappa, Sastavu, Haraharaputra, Manakanta, Shasta or Dharma Shasta. The iconography of Ayyappan depicts him as a handsome celibate god doing yoga and as an epitome of Dharma, who wears a bell around his neck. In the Hindu pantheon, his legends are relatively recent but diverse. For some, he is also an incarnation of the Buddha. He is honored by some Muslims in Kerala, with legends wherein Ayyappan defeats and gains worship of the Muslim brigand Vavar. In the Hindu tradition popular in the western Ghats of India, he was born with the powers of Shiva and Vishnu to confront and defeat the shape-shifting evil buffalo demoness Mahishashuri. He was raised by a childless royal couple, and grows up as a warrior yogi champion of ethical and dharmic living. In the South Indian version, Ayyappan images show him as riding a tiger, but in some places such as Sri Lanka he is shown as riding a white elephant. Ayyappan popularity has grown in many parts of India, and the most prominent Ayyappan shrine is at Sabaramala, nestled in the hills of Pathanamthitta of Kerala. The shrine receives millions of pilgrims every year in late December and early January, many of whom prepare for weeks before and then climb the hill barefoot, making it one of the largest active pilgrimage sites in the world. The pilgrimage attracts a wide range of devotees, from diverse social or economic backgrounds, except women in their fertile age given Ayyappan is believed to be the celibate deity. Ayyappan may share a historical relationship with the Tamil deity Ayanar. The most significant festival linked to him is the Makaravilaku Makara Sankranti, observed around the winter solstice. <laughs> Names and iconography The word Ayyappan is not found in South Indian versions of the medieval era Puranas, leading scholars to the hypothesis that Ayyappan may have roots elsewhere. The alternate theory links it to the Malayali word Akan and Tamil word Appa which means, father, with Ayyappan connoting, Lord Father. The alternate proposal is supported by the alternate name for Ayyappan being Sastava Sasta, Sashta, Sastra, a Vedic term that also means, teacher, guide, lord, ruler. The words Sastha and Dharmasastha in the sense of a Hindu god are found in the Puranas. Ayyappan is also known as Haraharaputra, meaning the son of Harahara, or a fusion deity of Hari and Hara, the names given to Vishnu and Shiva respectively. He is also called Manakanda from Mani, Sanskrit for precious stone, and Kanda, Sanskrit for neck. In some regions, Ayyappa and Ayanar are considered to be the same deity given their similar origin. Others consider him as different because their worship methods are not the same. Ayyappan is a warrior deity. He is revered for his ascetic devotion to Dharma, the ethical and right way of living, to deploy his military genius and daring yogic war abilities to destroy those who are powerful but unethical, abusive, and arbitrary. His iconography is usually shown with a bow and arrow upraised in his left hand, while in his right he holds either a bow or a sword diagonally across his left thigh. Other depictions of Ayyappan, particularly paintings, generally show him in a yogic posture wearing a bell around his neck and sometimes shown riding a tiger. <laughs> Life and legends The life legends and mythology of Ayyappa varies across region like other Hindu gods and goddesses, reflecting a tradition that evolved and enriched over time, sometimes in conflicting ways. For example, the Srabhutanatha Purana text presents Ayyappan as an incarnation of the Brahmanical deity Haraharaputra, the son of Shiva and Mahini. This interaction between Shiva and Mahini is mentioned in the Bhagavata Purana, but Ayyappan is not mentioned. In the oral tradition as represented by Malayalam folk songs, Ayyappa is presented as a warrior hero of Pandala kingdom. According to Eliza Kent, the legends in the Ayyappa tradition seem to be artificially mixed and assembled into a kind of collage." Ruth Vanita suggests that Ayyappan probably emerged from the fusion of a Dravidian god of tribal provirance and the Puranic story of Shiva and Mahini's sexual interaction. Core story There once was a kingdom of Pandalam where Ayyappan originated. The royal family was childless. One day the king of Pantalam found a baby boy in a forest. The king carried the baby to an ascetic in the forest to inquire about the boy. 
The ascetic advised the king to take the baby home, raise him like his own son, and that in twelve years he would discover who the baby was. The royal family did so, naming the baby Manakantha. At age 12, the king wanted to formally coronate Manakantha as the heir prince Yuvraja. However, the queen under the influence of an evil minister objected. The minister had advised the queen that only her younger biological child should be the next king. The younger child was disabled and lacked the ability to perform the duties of the king, something that the scheming evil minister thought would make him the de facto ruler. The minister persuaded the queen to feign an illness, ask for tiger's milk to cure her illness and demand that Manakantha be sent to get the milk from the forest. Manakantha volunteers, goes into the forest and returns riding a tigress. The king, realizing Manakantha's special ability recognizes the adopted son to be a divine being, resolves to make a shrine for him. For location, Manakantha shoots an arrow that lands 30 kilometers away. The young boy then transforms into Ayapan. The place where Arrow landed is now an Ayyappa shrine, a site of a major pilgrimage that is particularly popular for visits on Makara Sankranti about January 14th. The above core story is shared wherever Ayyappan is revered in India. Sometimes the story is slightly different or extended, such as the younger son of the queen is not disabled. Ayyappan does bring tigress milk for the queen riding on a tiger, but after doing so Ayyappan renounces the kingdom, becomes an ascetic yogi and returns to live as a great warrior in the forested mountain. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Medieval interpretations. In the medieval age, the stories of Ayyappan expanded. One story has roots between the 1st and 3rd century CE, where Ayyappan evolves to be a deity who also protects traders and merchants from enemies such as robbers and plundering outlaws. Ayyappa came to be portrayed as a military genius. His temple and tradition inspired Hindu yogi mercenaries who protected the trade routes in South India from criminals and looters, restoring dharmic trading practices. In one of the stories, Ayyappan is portrayed as a child of a priest whose father was murdered by the fearsome outlaw Udayanan. The outlaw also kidnaps a princess. Ayyappan then makes a daring rescue, attacks, and kills evil Udayanan. In another version of this story, the rulers of Pantalam themselves sent Ayyappan as a mercenary to the Pantia rulers to whom the ruler of Pantalam was related. In another late medieval era variation of the story, Ayyappan forms an alliance with the Muslim warrior Vavar against Udayanan, the basis for some devotees worshipping both in a mosque and then in the Hindu temple before starting a pilgrimage to Ayyappan shrine. According to Paul Younger, supplementary legends appeared by the late medieval times that linked other Hindu deities and mythologies to Ayyappan heritage. One such story links Ayyappan to the buffalo demon Mahishasura and buffalo demoness Mahishashuri. The divine beings Dada and Lila came to earth as humans. Dada wanted to return to the divine realm, but Lila enjoyed her life on earth and Dada's company. She wanted to stay on earth. Dada became angry and cursed her to become a Mahishi, or water buffalo demoness. Lila in turn cursed him to become a Mahisha, or water buffalo demon. They plundered earth with their evil acts. The water buffalo demon Mahishasura was killed by goddess Durga, while the water demoness Mahishashuri was killed by Ayyappan, ending the terror of evil and liberating divine Lila who was previously cursed. These legends, states Younger, syncretically link and combine various Hindu traditions around Shiva Shaivism, Vishnu Vaishnavism, and Devi Shaktism. <laughs> Temples There are many temples in Kerala whose presiding deity is Ayyappan, the most famous among them being the Sabarimala Temple. The temple attracts millions of visitors every year during Mandala season from mid-November to mid-January. Other important temples are Kulathupuja Sastha Temple, Aryankavu Sastha Temple, Achankoval Sri Dharmasastha Temple, Irumali Sri Dharmasastha Temple and Panambalamadu Temple. Ayyappan temples typically show him as a celibate yogi. A few important temples such as the one at Achankoval Sri Dharmasastha Temple near Travancore, however, depict him as a married man with two wives Purna and Pushkala, as well as a son Satyaka. Some of Ayyappan temples are believed to have been established by the Vishnu avatar Parashurama. Sabarimala <laughs> <laughs> 
Ayyappan has roots in Kerala, but his influence and popularity has grown among the Hindus in many states in India such as Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Of his many temples, the most significant is at Sabaramala also spelled Sabaramalai, set in the forests of the Pathanamthitta district Western Ghats on the banks of River Pamba, southeast of Khatiyam. It is a major pilgrimage, attracting millions of Hindus every year, particularly of Malayali, Tamil and Telugu heritage. Many begin preparations months in advance by leading a simple life, doing yoga, abstaining from sex, eating a vegetarian diet or partially fasting, wearing black or blue or sadhu style dress for 41 days, then trekking as a group to the shrine. The group does not recognize any form of social or economic discrimination such as caste, and all devotees form a fraternity welcoming each other as equals. The pilgrims call each other by the same name during the trek, Swami. After their long walk covering about 18 miles, they bathe in the Pamba River, then they climb 18 steps at the Sabaramala Shrine, each representing a dharmic value ethics, or interiorized gods. The shrine priests and devotees bring flowers from all over the western ghats and scatter them near the shrine, all the while chanting slakas, to keep the human traffic organized. Ayyappan devotees reserve and are assigned a pilgrimage day from one of the 51 days of pilgrimage, and each day sees over 100,000 walking pilgrims. Girls and older women are welcome and join the journey with men, but women in their fertile years do not out of the belief that Ayyappan is a celibate warrior yogi deity. The devotees wear simple dress on the day of the pilgrimage up the hills and through the forest. Many go barefoot, carry irumudi, a walking stick for regional Hindu yogis with two compartment little bags sometimes carried on head, wear tulasi leaves and radraksha beads around their neck, symbolism for Vishnu and Shiva, while fellow Hindus gather along the trek path, cheering and helping them complete their journey. For the Ayyappan pilgrims, states E. Valentine Daniel, the pilgrimage is a part of their spiritual journey. Other religions In Buddhism, Ayyappan is considered to be an incarnation of the Buddha. Scholars link Buddhist influence in the ritual that Ayyappan was called as Dharmashasta or just Shasta meaning teacher, as Buddha was, and the chanting of Swamiya Saranam Ayyappa in the Ayyappan tradition is like the Buddham Saranam Gashami. Chant of the Buddhists, he is also revered by Muslims in Kerala due to his friendship with Vavar, who is identified as a Muslim brigand in local versions of the Ayyappan myth. In this mythology, Ayyappan confronts the plunder-driven pirate robber Vavar in the jungle on his way to collect tigress milk. They fight. Ayyappan defeats Vavar, and Vavar changes his way, becomes Ayyappan's trusted lieutenant helping fight other pirates and robbers. In another version, Vavar is stated to be a Muslim saint from Arabia, who works with Ayyappan. A mosque dedicated to Ayyappan's lieutenant Vavar Swami stands next to Kadutha Swami Shrine at the foot of the pilgrimage path, both as a form of guardian deities. Some pilgrims offer a prayer to both, before beginning their Sabaramala forest and mountain pilgrimage hike. According to Kent, the mosque does not contain mortal remains of Vavar Swami though the mosque near Sabaramala includes a grave, and no one can date Vavar nor provide when and where he lived, so he may be a myth. The Vavar legend and Pali shrines may reflect the Hindu approach to accepting and co-opting legendary figures or saints of other religions within its fold. <laughs> TV and movie shows The deity Ayyappan has appeared in several regional TV and movies as a character, such as the Swami Ayyappan in multiple languages. See also Achankoval Alapan Code Arunmula Kataram Arunmula Palace Gurunathama Kadi Haravarasanam Malikapurathama Makara Jyoti Palakal Kavu Sabaramala Tajaman Madam Temples of Kerala <laughs>